What is good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, we have a ton of just freaking fracking figure hauls, mother effers. I mean, my God, look at look at this. We got, like, just stacks and upon stacks of stuff over there. You're probably wondering what that beer can is. I'm straight edge. I don't drink, but I'll get into it in a minute. Very hyped about that item, actually. And you guys are going to find out what that is. And I'm going to, I got a lot of people to shout out in this video, but we're going to take you through. This is sort of a My Damn Hauls episode, guys, but uh, I'm not going to be unboxing. I'm just going to sort of show you everything and you know talk about it let you guys know what's up and just give some shout outs because we got some epic hauls here today and i'm super duper excited to get into it and i don't even know where the hell to start i guess i could start with uh the the there's a newest meme of the channel guys and if you guys missed our action figure setup from sunday i think it was sunday night or sunday morning whatever i don't post at night what, you, what the hell are you talking about brad if you missed sunday morning's video we did an action figure setup and it was rated r version we had some interesting things take place and uh, if you guys see right here, you're probably like, uh, you, if you didn't watch that video, you're like, why the hell is that AJ Styles so bloody? Well, Brad, if we take a zoom in shot right here, we have a brand new meme on the channel, and uh, his name is Drive By Victim, or Headshot Victim, whatever you want to say, Gunshot Victim, or Drive By Victim, whatever the hell you want to say, AJ Styles. So you see here, he got shot in the face, he's bleeding everywhere, he also got sh shot right here. It looks very realistic. It's kind of freaking odd because I literally just plastered some uh, red paint on there and it kind of worked out. But if you guys look up over here, um, driving up in the car, we have the uh, the perpetrators. We have drive-by John Cena, gangster John Cena with his pistol, and Matt Hardy, his uh, little little buddy right there that was the accomplice in the drive-by shooting on AJ Styles. So new meme figure, whatever the hell you want to call it, of the channel is drive-by victim AJ Styles. So he'll go in there with little E. He'll go in there with George Washington. He'll go in there with Trash Corbin and selling cigarettes behind the gymnasium Dean Ambrose, and all those other guys will fit in nicely with headshot AJ Styles. I guess you can call them either or. But getting into the rest of the figures, guys, we have a ton of stuff here. I'm very, very excited for it. And uh, you know what we can start off with? Let's go ahead and knock the beer can out of the way because I think this is one of the coolest things that I think I've ever seen from a fan. And I'm going to go ahead and get the note and read it aloud to the class because he sent us a note here and I do want to read it right quick. So it says, hey man, tis I, Brad Stewart, from right here in Sydney, Australia. I hope you're well. I just wanted to say thanks again for doing such a stellar job on my custom WWE figure. I did a commission for him, so that's what we're talking about here. It says, it looks fantastic, standing along the rest of my collection. Initially, when I started to collect the figures, I intended to just grab one of each figure. But after watching some of your videos, you inspired me to track down multiple versions of my two all-time favorite wrestlers, Brett the Hitman Hart and AJ Lee. I now have six different AJ Lees and four Hitman figures, one of which is the Ultimate Edition. I've kindly enclosed a photo of my collection. As a thank you for my custom figure, I wanted to get you a little something in case you have difficulty working out exactly what it is. It is a beer can lantern with John Cena's face on it. I know he's a favorite of yours. Basically, you light the tea light candle and put the can over the top of it. I found another way of showing off the can's features too. You grab a torch, flashlight, and shine that some bitch into the can and you can see the face. I've included a couple of photos of some of the cans I own. These are cans of AJ Lee and Bret Hart. You might be able to see them on the second shelf of my cabinet. Anyway, I hope you like the can. Thanks for such entertaining videos and I hope to catch you in the next video. Thank Thank you. Thank you so much to Brad Stewart, guys. Absolute beast. I'm sure he'll comment down in the comment section below, but uh, you guys got to check out this can. It's one of the sickest things I've ever seen. You guys can see here. It just looks like a normal can, right? Well, if we cut off the lights here, we cut off the lights and we do a little ditzy do fart job and we fart in a can and smell it. You guys can see there, it still looks like an ordinary can until I get my phone and I light up the flashlight. Let's go ahead and stick it over here and then... Wallabushka. Look how freaking epic that is. That is some of the coolest ish I've ever seen. Like, look at that right there. I don't know where the hell, I don't know if he made this himself. I don't think he made this himself. If he did, then my God, what a talented son of a bitch he is. But uh, if you did make it, thank you, bro. If you didn't make it, then hats off to whoever the hell made it because it looks incredible. It looks fantastic. I love this so much. So we have this epic can that uh, looks like John Cena. I'm definitely going to hold on to this. You guys know that John Cena is my favorite of all time, so we're definitely going to hold on to this. I'm going to cut the lights back on because I'm a stupid idiot moron jackass. And uh, thank you so much for that, bro. Another thing that we got from a fan is this uh, this custom pop figure, and if you guys realize, you're probably like, well, Brad, that looks like your custom Punisher Seth Rollins. It's because it is my custom Punisher Seth Rollins, but in Funko Pop form with gloves on, and this comes to us from my boy Fatality underscore Customs, who also wrote us a note here. He says, yo, man, thank you so much for everything you do for the wrestling figure community. I had this laying around and was inspired by your fantasy attire custom. Hope this makes it in a returning My Name Halls episode. Well, this isn't a returning My Name Halls episode, but you know what? It, 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 it counts. Keep on grinding, Matt 
respect for you, even though you like the Crimson Tide and say trashly, joking brother, but for real, thank you and enjoy the Crimson Tide, Alabama Crimson Tide play on Saturday. I'm super hyped for that. If you guys are ready for college football, if you guys are college football fans, you guys know I'm from Tuscaloosa, but anyways, we got uh, Garrett McQueen. Thank you so much, man. Fatality underscore customs. P.S. Sorry about the handwriting. Ever since I graduated, my handwriting has went to shit. Well, Brad, that's okay. Thank you so much for the note. I'm going to add that to the fan mail section. This is epic. I love this to death. Thank you so much, bro. I love the skull. I love this going on. I think this makes my second or third custom Funko Pop, so I'm super excited for that. And uh, we're going to add that to the collection. But uh, now that we've gotten through the fan mail section, guys, let's get into some of these other hauls and extras that uh, we got some from some toy hunts that we picked up uh, that, that I didn't include in my toy hunt yesterday. If you guys missed yesterday's toy hunt, definitely go check that out. Very, very different uh, toy hunt. We had to get through some weather. We had some funny moments. A lot of people enjoyed it. So if you guys would, please check that out. But uh, let's go ahead and dive right in, guys. We got Pat Patterson right here in the house. And this is the figure that we actually picked up on the toy hunt. We picked up the one that's mock right here. And we picked up the one that's loose. And obviously, I wanted to open one so that I could look at it. I really like the body mold they got going on with this guy. I may make him a GM or something in the pick fed, maybe down the line. I'm not sure. But uh, I did definitely want to grab one. I'm also trading this one. If you guys have the Chase variant Elite 70 Dolph Ziggler, I will trade this for it. So uh, that's something to think about if you're looking for Pat Patterson. So we got the P-Pat. We got the other P-Pat. We got dual P-Pats going on. We got our meme AJ Styles. We have our beer can. We have our custom Seth Rollins. And then we have some epic things from eBay, which I'll go ahead and get into. Uh, the first thing from eBay, guys, is, oh, we got P-Pat's clothes back here. Christ on a cycle. We got P-Pat's clothes. So that's the t-shirt. That's the, that's what he looks like outside the clothes, if you guys were wondering. But let's get into the eBay hauls. I picked up this Dolph Ziggler basic, if you guys remember. I think this basic came out in 2016, if I'm not mistaken. Possibly early 2017. The only reason I grabbed it was for the smaller arms. I think this was like 9 bucks on eBay. I literally paid $9.00 for the arms and a crowd member is basically what this guy will be because I'm going to take these arms and plug them onto an Elite 70 Dolph Ziggler Chase variant. Once I get that figure in, that is my plans for this figure. And then I went ahead and ordered another Dolph Ziggler basic and uh, the reason I got this was for the smaller white arms. I think I paid five or six bucks for this. So I paid a total of like $15 for two figures just for their arms. Isn't that a sad sack of hell? But anyways, I literally got this for uh, the same reason. I got this for the Elite 70 Chase variant. I wanted two different versions. Just like with our regular versions, I wanted two pink versions with the black tape and with the white tape. So that is the reason we got these Dolph Ziggler figures. And those are all nice and dandy and farts in a salad bag. And so uh, next up, guys, we have some other things. This Tommaso Ciampa is something I already had. But my boy RKO 1974, you guys know my boy Rodney, he hooked me up with a fantastic package. I, uh, we did some custom work that I cannot show you right now because it's top secret information, but uh, he included extras, and since he's such a baller, he included this custom Chompa t-shirt, and so uh, this, this custom Chompa t-shirt is going to go perfectly onto my extra Elite Series 69 Chompa, bro. You did not have to include this, but he always includes the goodies because he's such a big fan of the channel, and he's oh my god in heaven, I tore it in half! I tore it in half! I tore it in half! Nice, nice, nice. Are you serious, bro? Are you serious, bro? What in the blue hell is that? Oh my god in heaven. I cannot believe I just did that. Oh. I cannot believe that sheesh right there. Are you sheesh there? Are you there? Are you are you sheesh kidding Brad? Come on, look at this now. Now he just looks ridiculous. What are we gonna have to do? What do I do to fix that? I mean you can't really tell. Let's be real, just chilling right here, but you could tell if he was in the pick fed or something, or you know, if he wanted to come out and cut a pro like look at that. Nobody's gonna take you seriously with one freaking shoulder burnt off there. What in the blue hell is that? I'm so sorry, Rod man. Get it. God, j j j come on, man. Seriously, though, that's upsetting, man. I, I am so sorry. That sucks eggs. But you know what? That's not going to put a damper on our hauls, bro. We're, go we're going to get in here. Let's get back into the swing of things. He also included some other things. Uh, we got some cards that we're going to go through. He also included these epic John Cena skulls because I, I have plenty of John Cena heads. This is actually one of my favorite head sculpts, and I can paint it up and put it onto my endless, you know, 97 John Cena elite figure. So we'll add that to the collection. 
Uh, we also have some John Cena t-shirts. He knows what's up. Thank you so much, bro. We got the Elite uh, Best of Pay-Per-View 2012, I think, or it's the Elite 20. I can't remember. It's one or the other. And then we have the Elite 14 slash Best of Pay-Per-View slash Kmart. It's not the Kmart. It's the Best of Pay-Per-View or the Elite 14 shirt right there. So that's beautiful. We also have these cards that I'm going to go ahead and run through right quick. Let's go ahead and open up the baggie. I already see a John Cena. He includes all of my favorite wrestlers. He always includes my favorite wrestlers, and he's a baller for that. So let's go ahead and dive in and see what uh, cards we got because they're going to be nice. And I just tore the damn baggie in half. I mean, what the hell's happening here today? So we got my boy Cedric Alexander. If you guys don't know, one of my favorite wrestlers by far in the world right now is Cedric Alexander. Just an absolute baller. We have John Cena, the GOAT. We have John Cena, the GOAT. We have John Cena, the GOAT. We have my boy Randall Keith. We got my boy Kevin Owens, my boy Seth Rollins, my boy John Cena, Randy Orton, Seth Rollins, Randy Orton, and John Cena. Absolutely beautiful. He always includes my favorites. He's a beast. Thank you so much, bro. I love these. These are, like, so cool. I have such a collection of these now from fans sending them, especially you. So I appreciate that so freaking much, man. But let's dive into the rest of the halls because Rodney hooked us up with some more stuff. And it's kind of ridiculous. We got this epic Jax Jeff Hardy figure. And I don't know if he got this from the three store or if he's just been holding on to this because this is like secretly wrapped and I've actually seen this figure on eBay if I could get the damn thing open. I've seen this thing on eBay multiple times and I've always kind of wanted to purchase it because it kind of looks like you could pose it the hell around but it's like a fake elite type jacks looking figure and it's actually hilarious like look at this guy. We got bobblehead crazy head Jeff Hardy is another meme right there. I don't know but it's it's really cool. Um, you got purple hair on this guy. He's actually really highly articulated you have uh, all this stuff going on green belt you got ab crunch you got the the hands i mean you could do swantons and stuff with this guy really interesting figure jeff hardy another one of my favorites of all time so that's really cool that he included this thank you so much rod i'm definitely going to do some cool shots with this and he's definitely going to be included on the fan mail shelf really love this jeff hardy jacks crap in a box figure don't know really what to call it but it's badassery nonetheless he got his tattoo on the back as well getting into more ish guys i mean my god we got a ton of stuff here he also rod he always hooks us up, guys. He included these small figurines. We have Roman Reigns. We have Randall Keith. We have The Rock, you stupid jackass. I thought that was Randy Keith for some reason. We have Benjamin Balor, my boy. We got John Cena, my boy. And we ultimately have AJ Styles. So we have a ton of those. That's the really dark skin tone for AJ Styles. But you know what? It works because he's, he's pretty dark, man. But I think he's darker than that Rock figure, so that's pretty insane. Uh, Roman Reigns, what else we got? We also have this small figure of John Cena, which he's sent this a few times. I actually have like three or four of these up on my fan mail shelf already so this will join those so that's pretty cool. I got a collection of those standing up. Uh, he also did these commissioned hands. I know we got a lot of just freaking stuff coming through man. I mean we have been talking non-stop and we keep on going but if you guys can see here what these are are Fiend Bray Wyatt hands and you guys can see there it says hurt and heal on the hands there. I'm working on a Fiend Bray Wyatt so these are going to go perfectly. They look beautiful. Thank you so much bro. I'm going to stick these into my custom Bray Wyatt when it is time. When it is finally done I still got to paint up the BEW head cast that we have going on. And for the final figures guys we grabbed these at Ollie's and I went to my local Walmart later on last night and I picked up Elite Series 68 Daniel Bryan for future customs which looks epic sauce. Cannot wait to get a future custom right uh, almost just vomited but we have this extra daniel bryan that we're going to use you know you get to blue trunks you get blue kick pads blue knee pads a lot of great stuff going on with this daniel bryan and uh you can never have too many cloth shirts so i figure why not go ahead and grab it you know you got the 1588 price tag so you might as well grab that at ollie's we actually found this edge which i used for a custom a while back so i'm really happy to add this back to my collection i may use it for customs again or i may just add it to the edge shelf and leave it alone we'll have to see about that but you can't beat a 12 dollar price tag for this guy or maybe it was 10 it says 10 oh so that's good so it's 10 bucks instead and then finally mercifully we're at the end of the haul here guys we got this battle pack and the reason I picked this up is because one of my boys needed the ponytail Dolph Ziggler head sculpt and uh, we're trying to work out a trade right now and so uh, I'm either going to work out a trade or I'm just going to hold on to that ponytail Dolph Ziggler possibly put it on another Dolph Ziggler because you guys know I have a massive Dolph Ziggler collection so we'll just have to see about that but mercifully I think that is it for this uh, massive haul today here. I mean my god we had stuff from RKO, we had stuff from Fatality, we had stuff from Brad the not the Brad but a Brad, a fan of the channel named Brad, Brad Stewart. So huge shout out to all of them, guys. Go definitely give them 
him a follow, and uh, I really appreciate it. I'm going to try and set everything up here for a nice little thumbnail, and we're going to get it going here, but I mean, my God, at the halls, man. I, if you guys stayed all the way to the end, then, then comment down below, deck the damn halls. Deck the damn halls right here with this My Damn Halls episode. And not even My Damn Halls. I mean, I don't know when that'll return, guys. I, I just need some motivation to bring back My Damn Halls. I just need some motivation to get back, but if you stayed this long, hit me with a deck the damn halls in the comment section below. I'd really appreciate it. You will get an automatic heart from me, and uh, I, I really appreciate it. So we got a ton of stuff going on here, and Vindication Episode 14 should be coming tomorrow. I think that's the plan. Vindication Episode 14 going tomorrow. We got plenty of stuff going on with that. I mean, we got two Elimination Chamber qualifying matchups. I'm dropping this all over the ground. Uh, we have, uh, you know, two Elimination Chamber qualifiers. We have the finals of the Wyatt Cole versus the Fashion Police for the Tag Team uh, Number One Contender Tournament, so we're going to see who's going to go on to face the Young Bucks. I tore this damn t-shirt in half. I'm going insane. I gotta get all this stuff. And uh, let me know what you think down below about Drive-By Victim AJ Styles. And I think that is gonna do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for the epic hauls. Thank you so much for staying around. Again, comment down below. Deck the damn hauls if you stayed this far. Subscribe to the channel for more epic, crazy, dumb, idiot, stupid, fart in a hole videos like this. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.